what's in this book? This book is an accumulation of 45 years of my personal doctrinal study and experience. It has 16 chapters all on very different subjects, all the way from the end of the world timetable to seven divisions in the spirit world and the problem of evil. The 10 lost tribes, have we found them? This particular subject promises to be one of the hottest subjects of the interest for the next few years. Why? Because thousands of them have already joined the church and hundreds of missionaries have already come home from these missions. Another chapter gives proof texts of the authenticity of the Pearl of Great Christ and the Book of Mormon, some of which you may not have heard before, like Mahuja and Mahaija. The spirit world in detail. I propose that there are at least seven divisions in the spirit world. One division answers the question as to where the good people of the earth go when they die. It's not what you think. If your relative rejects the gospel in the flesh, but accepts it in the spirit world, what is the probability that they'll go to the celestial kingdom? Read the rules and the surprising answer and the details in the book. Where do the sons of perdition go after the final judgment? And why the doctrine of dissolution explains their final end? The book contains a studied new approach to the question of where little children go when they die before the age of eight. And if they're ever tested. Has the seventh seal been opened yet? What's the difference between the seventh seal, the opening of the millennium, and the coming of Christ to the Jews, and the coming of Christ to the world? Find it out in the book. Did you know that there are already 50,000 plus names written in temple books of people who have their calling election made sure? Find out what the what, when, where, and why for on that. Are today's Christians really Christian? What does it take to be a Christian? The book explains what typically a prophet may see or may not see concerning future events, and the rules, and some examples as to the whys and wherefores. What part of evolution is true, and what is contrary to natural law? The room full of Nephite plagues? Does the church have them? Possibly. If Emma Smith did go to hell when she died, as Brigham Young claims, under what law can Joseph Smith actually redeem her? The answer is found in the book. These and many more reasons are why Deep Doctrines is a truly exciting book with 376 authoritative quotations of scriptures and general authorities. The author has already spent over $2,000 in papers all over the area advertising the book, creating a demand for you. Why should you want to carry the book? Because I'm giving you my profit. If you get 50% on every book that I sell, or that they sell, because I'm not getting anything. So, the book is mind-tingling and faith-promoting.